Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really fun and easy tutorial on how to do a mirror effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. So over the weekend, I finally got to catch up on one of my favorite TV series, and that's Insecure. Issa did her famous mirror reflection talks, and I've always been a fan of this effect, and I wanted to finally try this effect and show you guys how to achieve this effect. It's a really easy effect. You don't need no plugins. All you will need is a camera tripod, a camera, a mirror, and Final Cut Pro 10. If you have all those things, let's get into it. All right, so I finally found a spot in the bathroom. Now, this effect can only be achieved if you find a spot where you have a mirror here and yourself so it properly reflects. If you have like a bathroom like I had downstairs or even up here, there's a little cabinet mirror and you try to film from that side there, it's not gonna work, okay? It's gonna, so disclaimer. I already had the scene played out in my head. There's different ways you can do it. I wanted to kind of emulate how Issa did on Insecure where she was talking to herself, you know, and that requires one scene to just be a minute. And I do a minute because I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'd rather have more than less. And where I'm just talking and looking down and agreeing. Because when I film the scene of me actually talking to myself here, that's where I'm gonna be talking that game, talking that talk to motivate me. So when I film myself, I just wanna be shaking my head while I'm right here. When we start focusing on here, I'm gonna do another minute and it's gonna be me uplifting myself because that's the talk I need. Hope that wasn't confusing, but we're gonna get into it right now. Also, it helps if you, I'm using a GH5, so I have the swivel screen to see if I'm in frame. Action. Whew, man, this entrepreneur journey is rough. I just wanna quit sometimes. That's about enough of that. Now that I got myself listening, now it's time to focus to the guy in the mirror who's gonna be uplifting, my favorite part. Man, dog, go ahead with that, man. Get out your head. Dog, people need you out there. Business owners need you. Now that we've filmed our scenes, it's time to put it in our Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. Right now we're focusing on myself listening, right? Because this is what we want. So once we scrub through that, I could finally and hey, go ahead with that, man. Get out your head. I could finally focus on the mirror. The mirror talking to me. Right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop that and put it on top of that scene. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to use a draw mask tool. So we're going to get the draw mask over here under installed effects and we're going to put it on top of those scenes. And we're going to highlight it and it's going to say click to add control point. We will start right here and click around. Boom. Go ahead with that, man. Get out your head. Now you see my hand got chopped off, so we can move it around. Out your head, dog. People need you out there. Business owners need you. So that looks good. If you zoom in a little bit, sometimes you'll see. Need you. You tell stories, you ignite their stories. That it's a little off, and it might be a different pigment, or the color might be off. Well, if we come over here to feather, we can fix that. So we'll just add some feather to it. Get out your head. You tell stories, you ignite their stories, you help them. Okay, so then we're gonna also do the draw mask on this, and we're gonna do the same thing. Go around. The journey, embrace your journey. You are unstoppable. Boom, and then there we have it. And that's how you do it. It's a really simple effect. The only 
things you have to be aware of is the angles, the mirror reflections, and making sure your hand doesn't go too far here so it gets in the frame when you're doing um, the draw mask. Always be aware of that, but that's how you achieve this awesome, inspired by Insecure and Issa Rae self-reflection mirror effect using Final Cut Pro 10. No plugins needed. Man, this entrepreneur journey is rough. I just want to quit sometimes. And dog, go ahead with that, man. Get out your head. Dog, people need you out there. Business owners need you. Get out your head, man. The obstacle is the way. Now go out there and ignite. Why are you making this so difficult? Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time because I added an extra bonus scene to this. I was flexing in the mirror, so this is what I want in the mirror. I wanna showcase this. And I'm gonna chop it right there. And then, this is me observing the gun show. Not, obviously not impressed, right? So this is gonna be our foundation because we're focusing on this guy right here. And then we're gonna put our flexing on here. Draw a mask up top. Select our clip. And we are gonna add these points around our subject, like so. And you can drag and drop these points. Play it back, oh, you see I cut myself off. We don't want that. Right there. Yo, we are good money. That actually looks good. I don't have to add no effect. Oh, see right there. We wanna, we wanna make sure we take care of all that and adjust the mask accordingly. That part is messing up right there. We gotta extend these out a little bit more. I just wanna show you guys the different possibilities when you're achieving this effect. I can't get it right for some reason. I like that. And there you go. Obviously before um, you finish and export everything, put a color grade on there. If you see things are off, please remember, come over here to this feather and adjust the feather. You, luckily for me, you know, the natural light in the background from this window didn't affect any of the video. If it did, I would probably be having some inconsistency, which would lead to this effect looking terrible. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did and it was a value, please smash and crush that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more videos like this on the channel, as well as filming tips and tricks and gear reviews, subscribe to the channel, hit the red button so you never miss another video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.